Hello friends and welcome to infotainment. Well, here we'll see how to remove abnormal spaces in paragraphs when you have already used that justified features of alignment in Word document. Well, as you can see, this is a paragraph. Uh, I have uh, put it in a column kind of uh, arrangement so that uh, the alignment, whether it is left, right or justified would be exaggerated for learning. So here, as, as you can see, uh, this is a paragraph which is left aligned. I'll go to home, then in fonts, as you can see, this is left aligned. So usually what we do to uh, make it look nicer, we go for justified. So when I press justified here, sorry, I'll go for whole document. I'll con press control A and justified here. You can see the problem is solved. All the column has a uniform kind of uh, beginning and ending and the line stretches between the left border and the right border to fill up the whole uh, row uniformly but here what happens that as you can see in some lines uh, you can see chat gpt there is a big space between is and a this kind of abnormality comes when you justify a paragraph so uh, as you can see here also model and there's a lot of gaps and then can then answer just to have a look which is uniform uh, from left to right it has changed the spaces between the words which actually looks very abnormal so how to remove the space between this model can and answer this huge space between these three words so how to do that so here what you can do is well frankly i would say that justified is one of the best way to present something if you are writing a book or if you are sending a proposal or some official document go for justified and if it doesn't look very abnormal then it's really okay and it will be accepted nicely but when this kind of gaps come frequently in your uh, lines or in your document then you do these things that i'm going to show you so here what you can do is uh, you can go to page layout just remember page layout and here you can go to this hyphenation feature and click here and go for automatic so what it will do is it will uh, instead of sending this word to the rightmost border it will actually accommodate this word that is question and if it is not continuously accommodating to uh, till the right border at least it will put a hyphen and half word in one line and half word in the other line so that it doesn't create some abnormal spaces between words let me do it for you and show it to you if i press automatic go for automatic because manual again you have to go line by line word by word whether it should be hyphenated or not you have to decide so just go for automatic if i press on automatic you can see as i have said uh, you can see natural lang qh lan hyphen qh G -U -A -G. So it is adjusting that word in that line, giving normal spaces as it should and just putting or accommodating half words by giving a hyphenation. This will solve the problem to some extent. But as you can see, uh, in uh, every other line, there is a hyphenation. So it also doesn't look good. You can go for another technique, which could be a little bit hard work, but uh, you can get a great result out of it. For example, let me uh, again like uh, remove hyphenation first. So the second technique is just go to as you can see there are a lot of gaps here just go to home and uh, go to this arrow mark in the font tab just go to this arrow mark and you can see there is something called kerning for fonts kerning means it will adjust the space between two words according to your choice not by default what is set in computer for example i choose kerning for fonts and uh, it is saying uh, for fonts 11 and above okay no problem usually fonts stay either 11 or more than 11 and above or any professional document so you can what you can do is it is writing position uh, spacing so spacing i will for example expand it by for example a little bit more you can see the sample over here as well how the sample is being shown uh, I'll just uh, go and do some hit and run method and let, then see whether it is really uh, giving a pleasant look or not. So let us go by point uh, 0.3. Let's see what happens. So you can see a little bit change has been uh, seen in the uh, gaps between words. For example, I'll go for further gap. Let us see what is happening here. Point 0.3, point 0.4. Let me see. Yeah, a little bit closer the words are coming because gaps are more now so let me go for further point five six nine let's see what's happening here you can see it is 
spreading uh, somehow uniformly but it is still not solving the problem as such but you can use the combination of both kerning, kerning and uh, maybe hyphenation now if i go for hyphenation let's see what is what it is showing uh, i'll go for hyphenation page layout hyphenation maybe automatic now so you can see a little bit better it is looking if i hyphen it as well as if i go for kerning then the hyphenation has also reduced from uh, like every other two lines to one or two lines in a paragraph that is good enough so you can use this kind of uh, little, little adjustment technique between uh, kerning as well as between hyphenation to see what works best for you and uh, i would say that it completely doesn't make things look good but at least it will give you a better position to display or to present your document to to others in a more professional way so friend that's it i hope uh, you found this video useful if you like this video please hit the like button and please don't forget to subscribe to this channel infotainment to get more of such technical videos so till then keep watching infotainment see you again see you soon thank you